welcome it's Dinome. in my last video i talked about a potential uh, black swan event and i'm happy to say that i was actually wrong and it doesn't look like the black swan event will realize whatever happened in new york seems to be isolated inside new york so it's a loss for new york but it doesn't expand outside new york for now at least so i'm basically back to bull mode i bought back my positions and whenever people criticize me for taking money out of the market i always just say like okay i may miss a couple of days of gains but then i also may miss a couple of gains of losses so there's always two sides to that but basically i'm now back to bull mode and in this video i will talk about why i'm still bullish going forward i will talk about uh, altcoins some of my strategy going forward as well as airdrops at the end of the video so look out for those so first let's actually give an update on the bitcoin situation here so like i've said what i think will happen is bitcoin going sideways on top of this support line here and that's basically what we are seeing right now another scenario is that we go and visit the all-time high and then have a pullback and then we go to the upside here but all in all it just looks like bitcoin is going sideways now and the fundamentals of bitcoin are getting stronger all the time so when we take a look at how many bitcoin are held by etfs or funds uh, you can see that funds are still accumulating more and more bitcoin which is very very good for the potential potential price increase because the funds typically don't want to sell it immediately so a little bit longer term holders inside the funds as well as when we take a look at accumulation addresses for bitcoin this reached reached an all-time high just yesterday so when we take a look at the orange lines here you can see that the line is higher than anywhere else in history and the last time it was very high was basically 2021 here and that marked the middle of the bull run so if this is the middle of the bull run that basically means that bitcoin has to go at to at least hundred thousand dollars so we're still in a very very good position and what is an accumulation address you might ask it is simply an address where there are no outgoing transactions basically what this means is it's an address like a black hole where money goes in but doesn't get out and the balance has at least 10 bitcoin inside it so a lot of money is going into these accumulation addresses eventually these people probably will sell but this is still very good that uh, many people or whales basically think that there's a lot of price increase potential for bitcoin but not exactly whales but these are accumulation addresses anyway but when we talk about whales this is very interesting so when we take a look at whales whales actually started to sell bitcoin and this is probably why we see bitcoin going sideways and not to the upside here and some people may say that okay this is the local top but another way to look at it is this money is now rotating to the altcoins so if that is happening what we can basically expect is uh, an alt season altcoin season and we already are seeing that so i saw a lot of pumps just in the lot a uh, couple of last days so one pump i saw uh, was uh, actually posted by henrik Z henrik seberg and he posted this in december last year and i actually invested in this jasmine token for a couple of weeks and then i was like i, I don't I don't believe in this Japanese token, so whatever, I, I'm gonna sell it. But it actually went up 4x. So a crazy pump. He predicted it. So shout out to Henrik. Very cool to see. And when you take a look at his setup, you can see the price just basically crashed and then went sideways for a while. And that was the setup. And then it had the explosion. And we still have a lot of coins out there that basically have the same exact pattern, just waiting for the pump. And as long as the fundamentals are there, those projects will eventually pump when the money rotates to those assets as well. So very cool to see uh, a coin pumping, even though I wasn't in it. Another coin that was pumping was called, um, where do I have it? Yeah, was called World Coin. And we WLD. And the sad thing here is this is a, a digital identity coin. So when I was making a video about the self key project, which also pumped 70%, unfortunately for me this actually pumped 200 percent so sometimes you win sometimes you win less sometimes you lose money this was one of those times where i won a little bit less so wld had a major major pump to the upside here so this train has already passed but self key when we take a look at uh, the key usd uh, the key usd had a pump here 
but it also had a 30% pullback already. And now it starts to look interesting again, because as you can see, we are at this support line here. So if you're looking to buy a key here again, this might be a decent time if it has a second pump. And this was just the first impulse wave. So that's basically what I'm expecting. I bought back into key. Another way to look at it is when we take a look at key BTC. Uh, there's a cool chart here where you can basically just see that uh, this trend line was broken and now we are retesting that trend line here. So in my opinion, key is still a very good play and this was just the first impulse wave. And self key is also uh, about the um, uh, digital identity process, which is very, very important uh, when we have AI, generative AI, or when we have to differentiate who is a real person and what is AI. So that's why I'm quite bullish for this project even going for, uh, forward. So this is one project that is quite cool. Another one that I just want to highlight very quickly is a token called UNCX. And this is another one of those tokens that I've been talking about in the past. And now I feel like it's time for it again. Because as you can see, the price here is the yellow one. And you can see it's just going sideways, sideways and sideways. But the total value locked inside the protocol has just been growing exponentially here again. So right now, the total value locked in these uh, liquidity lockers that UNCX provides is $420 million, but the market cap is only $10 million. And this is a very cool project because UNCX takers, actually uh, the full market has already been uh, inflated. So there's no more inflation for UNCX token at all. But this is a cash generating project. So UNCX takers make money from the fees that the protocol is generating. So the more value is inside the protocol, the more fees is given to the uh, UNCX stakers. So eventually the, uh, the money should go to the token value as well. So I invested more money into UNCX. I do see a lot of value in this project here as well. And there are many, many other uh, altcoins in the market as well. But now let's quickly talk about uh, the airdrops. So one airdrop, of course, that we saw was the STRK airdrop. And I just want to quickly, briefly talk about this project because uh, they airdropped 1.3 million wallets, which is a crazy amount of wallets. And unfortunately, I wasn't one of those. And there's this one person or one uh, wallet, basically, uh, that was connected to 1,361 wallets. And after the airdrop, $3 million worth of STRK tokens were basically transferred to this one address here. So very cool that airdrops are still happening and people can still make a lot of money from airdrops. And I see the airdrops having a lot of potential in the future as well. So this is an area where I was uh, slacking in the past and I'm now getting more and more into airdrops as well. And now we're talking about a sponsor for this video because it involves airdrops. So a sponsor for this video is uh, Gate.io. And Gate.io is an exchange where you have a lot of these smaller altcoins in the market. So for example, UNCX, you can buy it from Uniswap, you can buy it from the Ethereum blockchain itself, or you can actually buy it from Gate.io as well. And Gate.io, they have this startup airdrops where you simply click this button and then you will get an allocation. So hyper GPT airdrop happens in one day. And only only thing you have to do is have $10 worth of assets inside gate.io wallet and then click this button and you are set. Uh, the next one after hyper GPT is called uh, Microvision. And this is a new blockchain and they will release an airdrop through gate.io. So you simply have a, an account here. You do the KYC and have at least $10 here. The caveat or the nuance here is that the more you trade on gate.io, the bigger your allocation will be. So if you just have the VIP zero, you will be entering a lucky draw. So your allocation is not guaranteed. But if you have VIP one, which requires you to have a trading volume of $60,000 uh, in 30 days, uh, then you will be getting VIP one and you have a guaranteed allocation. So the higher your VIP level is, the higher your allocation. But this is simply a very easy way to get at least some airdrops uh, if you want to get airdrops. And Gate.io uh, is a very popular exchange, uh, gaining more and more popularity as time goes 
on as well. So if you want to use gate.io, you can use my affiliate link uh, where you can get and use it and get a 20% discount on trading fees as well. So the link is in the description. So all in all, uh, I do believe uh, we are still in the bull market and I do believe money is rotating to altcoins. You simply have to have the patience to wait for the right setups for the altcoins where uh, you are not buying when it already pumped, but you are buying before the pump uh, on assets that have good pump fundamentals or fundamentals, and uh, you just wait it out, and and eventually uh, you should get money uh, if you do it, do it right, and and of course you, you are lucky as well. But that's it for this video. Uh, I hope you liked the video. Consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you, and bye bye.